Now to that massive AT&T data breach. It's affecting more than 73 million current and former customers. All right, so why was former customers' data still being held, and how can you find out if you've been affected? Fox 5 Arthur Chan looked for answers and joins us live in studio with the latest Arthur. Steve, Natasha, learning a lot tonight, and we begin with crediting the online site TechCrunch for uncovering this massive breach, which experts we are talking to tonight say actually happened as many as five years ago, which means attackers may have been using all the stolen personal data for years, even though the victims of this are just now finding out about it. If you've been the victim of identity theft in the past, uh, this AT&T breach may have been the reason. The AT&T breach involves some 73 million customers, including over 65 million of which were no longer with AT&T, but whose crucial private information the company appears to have kept anyway. Hackers got social security numbers, dates of births, physical addresses and emails, all found being sold on the dark web. Cyber experts like Matt Mitchell say the damage will be incredibly hard to undo. We can't change our date of birth. We can't easily change our social security number. It has addresses and first and last names, which is enough for someone to uh, damage credit or um, you know, pursue identity theft. Mitchell and others are also alarmed that hackers got AT&T pin codes. And experts worry when it comes to numerical pin codes, consumers usually use the same numbers, including for things like debit cards. AT&T previously denied they've been hacked, but now the company says it's not sure if the hacker got in from their system or from a vendor outside their system. The fact that they're giving this to other parties that presumably are using this for marketing or other purposes like this, um, it's just it just shows that they don't necessarily value your privacy. So quickly, here are three steps our cyber experts say we all should take now, even for those who have not been AT&T customers. First, log on to the website Have I Been Pwned, where you can find out if your data has been stolen. You can type in your email address. It's one of the few safe websites that will just tell you if your email is in any known data breach or leak. Second, place a security freeze on your credit reports. If you're in a situation where you're not going to be going and taking out a line of credit or buying a home or doing something like that in the near future, putting a freeze on your credit isn't just in general a good idea to do. And lastly, use a password manager. It really doesn't matter which password manager you use. If you have an iPhone or an Apple device, it might say, this looks like a login and I want to make a password for you. Have it do that. It'll be a very strong password. Well, AT&T tonight is telling Fox 5 that it's unclear if the data came from them, although AT&T account numbers and their passcodes are part of the breach. We asked how long the company keeps the personal information of former customers and how they use that information. We are still waiting to hear back from them on that. Steve, Natasha. Yeah, really interesting. All right, Arthur, thank you.